Hello everyone, it's Zach Lovelace again with Herco North America. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a part and touch off tools without a probe on your Herco lathe. So to get started, we're going to need to define a master tool. This tool will be used to teach the work offset, Z0, if there isn't a tool setter probe installed on the machine. Now, as you may know, the master tool is usually a turning tool and normally in turret position number one. Uh, this tool will be defined as the master tool by simply setting the Z-axis tool length offset to zero. So to get started, we need to create your master tool first. To do this, you need to press the input key on your control panel, then select the tool geometry offsets key. And after that, highlight the field desired and enter zero. Now it's very important to know that you should never change the Z for the master tool once you have it set. And so now all that we have done so far is just create a master tool. What we need to do now is get started on our part setup. And to do that, we need to set a work offset. So place your hand wheel in manual mode and jog the master tool tip down until it makes contact with the face of the part. You will then need to go to the part setup screen. Then select the desired work offset field and press the store machine position soft key. The control will then ask you what tool offset you want to use. This is typically the same as the tool number. Okay, so we're making good progress, but now it's time to touch off your tools. So to do this, we need to start with that master tool that we had created. So what I want you to do again is use your hand wheel and put it in manual mode. You'll then need to jog the tool tip down until it is in contact with a known diameter on your part. After you make contact, select the tool setup screen and highlight the x-axis field of the correct tool. Then press the Store Machine Zero soft key. A pop-up screen will appear where you'll be prompted to enter the measured diameter in this field. So now that our master tool is all set, as I mentioned earlier, it's important to remember never change the Z for the master tool once it is set. We now have our master tool touched off. We can now begin to touch off the remaining tools for our machine. So for your next tool, I need you to jog the tool tip down until it's in contact with the face of the part. You will then need to press the store machine position soft key. Now we need to touch off the tool in the X axis. So place your hand wheel in manual mode again and jog the tool tip down until it is in contact with a known diameter on your part. Then select the tool setup screen and highlight the X axis field of your tool and press the Store Machine Zero soft key. That pop-up screen will appear and you'll be prompted to enter the measured diameter in this field. And now your new tool is ready to go. Just remember to repeat these steps for all the remaining tools that you will be using. Okay guys, you should be all set. And to keep up with Herco North America's content, remember to subscribe to our channel, click that like button, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.